This video brought to you by Gamefly. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon for a 30-day free trial. Stick around to the end for more details. Hey there, Canonites. Welcome back. This is our second attempt at recording this, so hopefully it goes well. <laughs> Uh, today I am. We are playing the level reactor, and I am happy to be joined by to spearhead the man behind the lives of series who also turned me into a monitor. And God, was that a bitch? Let me tell you. Trying to edit something without hands, I can't even tell you. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, you're a little computer now, so I mean, I suppose you could do it internally. That is true. I don't know. I just don't, I just always like the, I just always like the quality of, of my original cap capture software over my. Now forward or stuff. I mean, it looks good, but the but the bad stuff looks even worse. You know, when, the better the capture technology gets. So, when you're getting up to forerunner, you just notice some things that are just. Ugh, let me tell you. Uh, the UI could use some work. Should, just a uh, bit. <laughs> ow! Bring in, uh, bring in Wyvern so she can help. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. I just noticed this. I don't know what. It, after all these years, you can still see the cut on Sar uh, Sergeant Forge's armor from when he confronted the Arbiter. You can kind of see, like, this weld or something. Oh, yeah. Man, hey, it plays this time. <laughs> oh, good. Well, yeah. at least we know that we're in. That's good. Yep, sometimes you just gotta play with that with that leader setting. I remember doing that a lot for Griffball in Halo 3. I never played Driftball all that much. I, I couldn't get into it. It was weird. You know, some it's you know everyone's got different tastes. So it was it, it had like a weird host advantage from what I remember. Um, yeah, there there was. That's why whenever uh, we played, we had to like mess around with uh, what do you call it? the like who who was leader essentially. So we. Uh, until we could like figure out who's got like who's got the right connection to uh, to host. So like I think at least by the time I played in the second season, uh, excuse me, of Griffball, they had uh, they had figured they had like a network test of sorts that that uh, they could just that you could run to get more easily uh, figure it out. Oh dang it! Oh jeez, you already spawned the elephant. <laughs> I, I get to work. <laughs> it, it would take me. Uh, I think I, the last time I played this, I played it on um, easy, and it took me about ten, fifteen minutes before I even thought about spawning it because I wanted <laughs> to make sure I had enough resources to uh, go and protect it if uh, if that was necessary. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, we don't need to start moving just yet. I just always build it right off, right off the bat, right off the bat. Hmm. Eh. <clears throat> What is speaking? Oh, dude, believe me, I ask the same thing to myself every single day. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm English. Half the people over here don't speak English. I imagine. Oh, dear. I can't, uh, I can't spawn anything. Oh, yeah, I might be eating up all the resources, because <laughs> I've been upgrading in pads and building shit, so... No, not even. It, it just wouldn't let me... Okay, no, now I can. All right. Uh, I guess there's a slight delay on it for some reason. Um, have the... Not to not to slag Halo Wars off or anything, but have you noticed how uh, comical, uh, comically sized the rocket launcher is in comparison to Douglas over here? Oh, yeah. It's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's something else. Like all of the, but yeah, like all of them are kind are really oddly proportioned. But yeah, the rocket launcher he's just got this giant ass square on his shoulders. Oh dear! I just noticed it actually has four barrels too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it does. Man, the, you can you can definitely tell the difference in quality between uh, <clears throat> you know the little models on this game and Halo Wars Two. They've done oh, a yeah. pretty pretty good job of them on Halo Wars Two. Extremely. Oh, there's some resources over here. Oh, that's a good thing to grab. Oh yeah, what do you know? Uh, I'll check the other side as well, because you never know. Ooh. 
Oh, there's definitely got to be some stuff over there. And I can't, I can't get over there. Field armory complete. <clears throat> so, um, have you pre-ordered your Halo Wars 2 yet? Oh yeah, a while ago. Uh -huh. And I, I could probably talk about this. I do have the review, a review copy as well, so. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, Kenny from Ultimate Halo has one too. Yeah. Um. I yeah uh, I I didn't get a, I didn't get a review copy because uh, I'm not I'm not very good at reviewing anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> and besides, I can wait. I can uh, the uh, I, I, the cinematics that they've done for it because uh, I, I was kind of worried about the story. Mm -hmm. Um, after Halo Five, you know, no disrespect to three four three. It's just the I'm sure everyone can understand where where I'm coming from when I say that, but um, I was kind of worried about the story, but the cinematics and and just the dialogue that they've had uh, mm -hmm. in the in the teasers and things like that leading up to it, it just it's really really nice, um, very good change of pace on it. Very much so. I gotta agree, and. From I've only done the first four levels, so a lot of that stuff's already been seen so far. But uh, from what I've seen, it, it's pretty damn good. Which you'll all get to see on Monday, assuming I get this out today. Which I, I will kill myself if I don't. Not literally, but you know. <laughs> uh, should I upgrade um, turrets? Go for it. So those will definitely because we uh, this is the level where she, like uh, oh hello. It's, Got some units up here. Oh, not you though. Not you. You don't go there. You come back. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll ship my units up front so they can. Yeah. Uh, Make sure we do, we're not getting the elephant ain't getting attacked. In fact, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll shoot Forge up to the top really really quickly to see. Oh boy. Yep, we're getting attacked. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I don't know if you um, if you saw, but uh, on I think it was the day that uh, Halo, the, the the definitive edition of this was released. I uh, I released a short video showing like the differences between. I did. I saw that. That was um, that was really nice. Very nice. It it, it it's it kind of shocked me how how much of a difference it was. It's not just the. You know, it, there were some added, uh, you know, like foliage and things like that. It it looks a lot better. They they haven't just you know ported it over to PC. Yeah. Or anything. They've done some serious work on it. It's uh, and considering it's you know basically free, that's pretty impressive. Well, I mean, it's free if you careful. <laughs> you want to you'll want to get Forge out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Here. I don't think Let's bring him down to... just a bit. We can drop a healing pot on or healing thing on him. Oh dear! And he's on fire. Oh dear! Yeah, I'll drop a healer. Um, do we have a? Oh yes, we do. Um, and we've got a field armory, and that's already it. Uh, I'm gonna spawn. Two hornets for myself, if that's all right. Go for uh, it. Where did you get the? Oh, you jacked it, didn't you, the vampire? Yes. <laughs> Figured what the hell. <laughs> I like this. Is I've always liked the designs for the vehicles and things that they created for this game. It's just kind of a shame that they never made it into uh... any of the main games. Yeah, I mean, I'd I'd kill to have a vampire in. Uh... At night, I feel like a vampire. <sighs> really? <laughs> really? I, am a t I I do that a lot. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hate me. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Alright, get over there, Alice. Oh, I've got the flutter on this level as well, aren't they? Oh. A little bit, yeah. Um, I can't remember if it's uh, this mission. That... No, I think it's one a little bit before where you you have to get a scarab. 
That's the one just before this beachhead, which I just played, <clears throat> ah. which was just released on Halo Cannon on Saturday. Oh, I, I, shameless yeah, plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not shameless if it's on your own channel. <laughs> That's true. How dare I advertise for my channel on my channel? Oh, did you just uh, upgrade the reactor? Yes, so we can get the um, wingman upgrade for... Also, so if we want to build some uh, vultures a little later on, we can. And uh, get them the mega barrage ability. <clears throat> uh, I think we're probably ready to push. Uh, I'm going to spawn a couple more uh, hornets for Go myself, because I don't have a whole lot of units. I have five at the moment. Yeah. I told you, I'm really slow at this game. Like it's uh, And the Covenant base has a shield on it. Yep. Uh, okay, i got to get these guys out of the way so the elephant can get over here. Let me move mine too, just in case. Yeah, I just, want, I just want to bring it to the back until we take that Covenant base. Mm. And then it can, so it can just stay out of sight. <laughs> oh. This isn't related to uh, Halo at all, but uh, I'm sitting in a position that has made one of my legs go completely dead. So, <laughs> yeah. I know what that's like. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it is. All right. Let's move my units just a bit up. Oh, yep. thank you for uh, upgrading the uh, chaff pod. Yep. Right. Uh, I'll send uh, my units over to your current units, and uh, whenever we're ready to go. Oh dear, we're getting attacked. Yeah, it's just a couple vampires. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> have you ever played this game on uh, Legendary or anything? Oh, yeah. It's, it I had to do co-op legendary. That's the nightmare. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> oh man. Um, I think uh, when when the game first came out, uh, uh, I'll I'll happily admit that I only bought this game originally because uh, I wanted those maps for Halo Three. Um, I definitely got the limited edition early on for those. Actually, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a little ashamed to admit, just a little. No, no, don't be ashamed. I did the exact same thing, you know. I was a bit of a. Well, I mean, a... like, cause that was like the only reason I got I got it. I wasn't all that interested. I'm, a, a, but you know, I'm luck on the on the brighter side. I, um, you know, once got got my hands on the game, I actually played it. It's like, holy crap, this is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it uh, it was a pleasant surprise. It was kind of like Crackdown, where they attached the um, Halo Three beta to it. Um, uh huh. You know, what weren't expecting that to, people weren't expecting that game to be all that great, and it was it was kind of fun, mm -hmm. surprisingly. And then again, I never got to play the Halo Three beta, so. And yeah, neither did I. That was a bit before I really got heavily involved with Halo. Like I, I started playing at Halo Two, but never really like seriously got into it until uh, Halo Three came out. Hmm. Uh, we got some vampires at the back here. Yep. And now they're in bits all over the floor. Okay, let's get you back up here. Uh, there are some resources. I'm going to go and grab those. Cool. I'm going to wait for this base to be claimable. What's this hole in the floor for? Oh, <laughs> fuck if I... Yeah, it's, it's a vent. I'm, I'm gonna guess because there's stuff coming out yeah that should have been fairly obvious Dave <laughs> <laughs> I mean who the hell knows it's forerunners for all we know this could actually uh, this could be no shitter I don't know <laughs> it's where all the animals of the shield world come to lit to shit in, into holes like this they've got like uh, a strange fascination with really deep cavernous holes uh, for their structures of any kind. Well, I mean, the, the Forerunner Society was just a li like, it was kind of pseudo what uh, Pur uh, Puritanian. Puritanist. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know words. <laughs> <laughs> going to build some turrets. Cool. 
Uh, oh, hey, there's another Forerunner shitter over here. Gotta love that Forerunner shit. <laughs> okay, so, um... You wanna leave your units there, I'll drop a, he I'll drop a heal on uh, everything. Just gonna grab, uh, grab these resources. Right, I'll drop, <coughs> drop it there then and get my units. Sweet. In here, because I they need heals. Heals over reels. Uh, this isn't uh, quite in relation to uh, Halo Wars, but um, yeah, uh, I, I'm I'm curious. Do you think there are any um any other foreigners out there? You know, in uh, cryptums or uh, things like that. It's always possible. Um, they definitely left it in uh, what is it? Uh, in Halo Fractures with the the bonus story that kind of followed up the. Promises to keep in the Forerunner saga. They they left it open enough that it's possible we could see other Forerunners in the future. Um, and there's all yeah, there's always the possibility that you know a, another one decided to you know, lock itself away in a cryptum or something. Mm. I would uh, I would really like to see uh, a horrible bait and switch, um, kind of like in uh, Halo Four where you know the chief thought that he was activating some kind of satellite and he accidentally released the dieback. <laughs> I would, yep. I would like a bait and switch like that where, um, uh, someone, uh, you know, just a Marine or a Spartan or anyone really, uh, opens up a cryptum or something expecting there to be a forerunner or something in there. And then they unwittingly release a precursor. Oh God. Uh, and a very angry precursor at that. Yeah. I, I would just really like to see one of those things in game. Um, yeah. What the fuck happened to the galaxy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe something along the lines of the timeless one. That would be nice yeah. to see. Because uh, the, the way he was described in the book, well, it was described in the books, just made it seem super interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, we don't have enough resources to build up. Stop spending all the resources. I'm making a vulture. I, d <laughs> I know. It's worth it, man. Your pocket money, man. I want some too. But I'm the ho I'm the main person, or whatever. Gosh. Yeah, but, yeah, but I'm hosting the game. <laughs> this is true. Well, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> reserves reserves is in the is in the works. So when that's ready, uh, you know, you'll have. You'll have room to build. I'll give you the last 11 um, slots or whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as long as you're going to leave me something. <laughs> right now I have... I still have like five uh, units, for God's sake. How many do you have? I don't uh, know. I haven't counted. One, three... Uh, seven with the vulture now. Um, oh, uh, since, uh, since you've, um, uh, openly stated that you have a review copy of Halo Wars 2, um, definitely not, not, uh, uh, I mean, we've all, we've all played the multiplayer and, you know, the Blitz beta and everything like that. Mm -hmm. We've all used, uh, you know, the units like the Condor and things like that. Um, have you been in a position yet where you have used a Sentinel Retriever? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing one of those things in action. Yeah. So am I. Like, I, I saw Unicracken actually uh, posted some footage, I think from the NYC event in January, um, where he was playing his Anders and got to use the Retriever Sentinel, and it is boss, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 yeah, now, now I remember. Yeah, he did. I'm going to have to watch that again, because I've... Uh... Yeah, it just kind of hovered over everything and destroyed anything that went under it, didn't it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, by the way, the uh, re the resources and uh, and population are there for you. Oh, cool. Um, hmm. Now, what shall I have? Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna do some scorpions. Go for it. And there go all the resources. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, whenever I get get enough, I'm gonna update upgrade these supply pads too. Um, yeah, I'll leave the other guys. 
Oh. Oh, there goes one of your hornets. Damn it! Come on! I haven't got anything as it is. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. That, oh, that, shit. We have, oh, uh, that's a flood thing. Yep. I've forgotten the names of those. Uh, th mm. uh, there's a ghost Careful up here. Up there. there's a... I don't know what this ghost is doing, but it's just kind of having a bad day. It, it's <laughs> shooting all over the place. Let's be careful, because there is a base up here. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of the turrets up here so they stop shooting my hornets. I'm going to take care of some flood quickly, then. Ugh. I'm hoping that the flood come back at some point uh, in one of 343's games. They, they've they shown that they've got some... Yeah. Like, pretty... they've been hint, like, building them up a lot, so I would be genuinely surprised if the flood didn't return. I'd be well surprised and severely disappointed. Well, it, it's they're frightening me a little bit because uh, you know they they in recent years they've been wanting to kind of uh, push that Halo is uh, they want to get a younger audience in, which is you know fine. Um, got no problem with that. It's just that you I can't really see a a way of having the flood coexist with a teen rating, you know, because, I mean, they're, they're rotting flesh, basically. Yeah. And I'm I mean, going to quickly apologize to people listening to this. Dave, you can't hear this, but I'm getting, like, a ton of messages on the, my computer, so... Oh, <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, yeah. Um, I will say, though, like, in the, like, if you read any of the articles that came out when everyone was freaking out about that whole shit, Bonnie Ross did say that like th this isn't something they'd be considering for the main games, just like as off like for offshoot games or something. I mean, people have been uh, asking for a, uh, a horror-based Halo game. I mean, yeah. you know, imagine Dead Space with a Halo skin. Yeah, or like my per my personal that I always want is I want like you know Alien Isolation as uh, oh. the Halo game. But you know, like replace all the all the working Joes and the the alien with uh, flood forms. Like you'd have the working Joes as, uh, or hell, just replace the working Joes as co with Covenant. So like it's like you're a civilian in a city that's been invaded by Covenant and Flood or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that would be stuff like that. I yeah, I would definitely play that. In fact, there's a there's a lot of things that three four three haven't released or haven't you know made that I would. Uh, I would definitely play, like, you know, the Mega yeah. Bloks game for one. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I want, uh, I really want that game really bad. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start pushing at the next base. Yep, yeah, I'm bringing my uh, units around too. I'm going to bring the elephant up to, the, up to here. Okay, we've. Wait, it says that I can spawn another, uh... Yeah, we still got, uh, three population left. <clears throat> uh, I was, I was thinking, because it, it gave me the option to spawn another vulture. I was like, what? <laughs> he... oh, I guess I'll take care of that. Um... I'm gonna keep, uh... I'm gonna keep a scorpion down by these flood because they're they're spawning uh, yeah. again. Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta keep those things dead. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the elephants' guns to try and uh, help you with that. Oh uh, no, they uh, they looked as if they were spawning up again, but now they're they just... were. There was uh, one of like one actually did. Okay, Mac last time. Okay. Speaking of which, I'm going to get that final Mac upgrade. <clears throat> oh, man. How long has it been since uh, since the first game? Is it eight years? Uh, Yeah, it'll be... Or, um, 28 years, sorry. Uh, it'll have been... 
Oh, you mean real world? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 28 <laughs> years, mate. <laughs> God damn! Excuse my terrible British accent. Um, um, no, uh, yeah, I think it has been like eight. Let's see, that came out in 2009, so yeah, it'll be eight years in uh, next month, actually. Hey, we just got a skull. <laughs> oh, where's the skull? Uh, it just spawned up here. Um, something. Oh, right. Yeah. I don't remember. I just put stuff together, and I don't remember. Max improved. Uh... Mm. Oh, they're <clears throat> starting to spawn uh, sentinels, isn't it? Yeah. And the flood's coming back. Yeah, there's the skull. <laughs> Bountiful Bountiful harvest. Bountiful harvest. Huh. Yeah. Interestingly, just, I'll just make a fun note of it. The black box is right over here. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Yeah. Let's see, where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. I see it. Yeah, I don't know how to make how to do that thing. <laughs> the thing uh, I should know how to do. I, I I think I know now. I just I can't. I can't stuff. Can you stuff? <laughs> I can't stuff. <laughs> this is riveting commentary. <laughs> this is the best commentary ever. Uh, I'll see if I can send a warthog after the black box. If you, uh, I think you can only get infantry in there. Ah, oh, damn it! No, no. No, I, actually, you can't even get infantry. It's got to be a flying unit. Cause I, like they, they say you can get infantry, but I can never get infantry in there. It's the I always have to like when I was making I was I made a like a Halo Wars timeline video like how to unlock everything for the definitive edition a while back and like I was trying to get that one. And that particular black box and it just oh my god i had i basically had to uh specifically create an air pad on the second base just to get just to be able to uh to get that <laughs> to get at it oh i don't have any uh oh wait no i do well i'll i'll, I'll see if i can land a hornet over there to grab it because <laughs> uh... if you want I mean, yeah, it'll it'll count towards our completion, won't it? So, yep. if you haven't already got it, I do. Yeah, oh, on here I do. I mean, it's it's a fun thing to do, regardless. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, Hornet, don't let me down. Yep. Hey, there I go. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez, we're not short on resources now. Uh, no, not at all. I'm gonna give that. Shall we uh, head up to the last base and Mac blast it to hell? <laughs> uh, have we got like full power Mac yeah, blast? Yeah, we do. Oh my gosh! Let's do it. Okay. Uh, right. They're just gonna spawn a load of uh, sentinels up here, aren't they? Probably. Yeah, super sentinel just spawned. Oh. Oh, that's what those things are. They're not. Um... They're not Here shitters. They're, they're, uh, they're sentinel things. Yeah, that's where the sentinels spawn. Oh, there's a... Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Um, help? <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> why, why aren't you guys doing anything? Get over here. <laughs> oh, there it goes. That wasn't too difficult. <laughs> I mean, when you blast it with eight Mac rounds. <laughs> yeah, now I'm slightly regretting not playing this on a harder difficulty. Eh, whatever. It, 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 we got like a good 30, 40 minute episode, so I think we're fine. I, last episode, uh, Beach had a, I played with the Metalhead Spartan, or with Metalhead Spartan. Ah, your the is getting to me. No, um... <clears throat> Uh, we did. We accidentally played it on heroic. It ended up taking fifty minutes to get through the level. <laughs> you know, which wasn't terrible. We managed to keep talking the whole time and <clears throat> had some had fun with it. But you know, that was a fifty minute episode. <laughs> he's uh he's got some 
really good uh, stuff behind him, hasn't he? Oh, oh yeah. Bad. Yeah, he does. I think, uh, I don't know if he's still there. I think he was in our Discord group. Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to check. But, yeah, he's uh, he should keep doing what he's doing. He's doing well. Yeah. It's actually interesting, too. He revealed how he records stuff. He basically records it through his graphics card. He uses, like, it as a pseudo uh, capture card. Hmm. Uh, like, he, he explains it in detail in the episode, but it, it was interesting to hear. Well, got to find all those creative ways of getting around things, you know? Yeah. <coughs> all right, here we go. Mission complete. Oh, and uh, it's coming <laughs> around. <laughs> clipping! So much clipping! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's quite mysterious. Uh, nice. Uh, how I, I saw bits of the uh, opening cinematic for the second game, and they say, you know, how did we get here? Our slip, slip, our slip space drive is gone, and I'm just kind of... Hoping for certain things. Uh, I'm hoping for the explanation. Yeah, I'm hoping for mendicant bias. Oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah. So, if I have time today, I'm gonna finish that ga finish the game and see if that's true or not. We'll see. Obviously, I won't be able to tell anyone, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't want to scream into the damn stars, but <laughs> yeah, J just a just a few. Uh, what is it? Six, five more days. Six more days, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Five more days. Yeah, since the twelfth. So yeah, so very close. We're very close. Definitely. But so that was fun. Thank you, Spearhead, for joining me. It was a lot. It was a pleasure to actually be able to talk to you. So I think this is actually the first time we've uh, gamed together at all. Mm. If we have, I don't remember what the prior incident would be. But I had you on my friends list for some reason. So <laughs> <laughs> some reason, I don't know. But yeah, that was fun. Um. Glad you could join me. Uh, be sure to check out his stuff. I'm sure a lot of you already um, already do because you know that it, it gets really popular. It gets its way, it makes its way into our Halo, and usually gets a, it's a decent amount of views, at least from what I've seen. Uh, but if you haven't checked him out, he does some great work, um, some very entertaining stuff. Halo. I forgot to mention it earlier. Yeah, Halo dubs. I love that stuff. <laughs> those are just those are just the best. Uh, my favorite series is definitely the lives of, but that is a close very close second because those are just really well done um, oh, heck yeah. yeah so go ahead check that out link will be in the description box for his channel and uh i guess that's it thank you again for joining me thank you out there for watching and until next time this has been halo canon bye bye thanks for watching be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around also consider checking out Gamefly, with over 8,000 new releases and classic games for current and previous gen consoles, and even some older consoles, Gamefly is a great way to try tons of games without buying them. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon to start your 30-day free trial.